Ashlyn Carter. Welcome back to my channel. I am really excited about today's video. We're going to be talking about capsule wardrobes. And if you are like me and have kind of heard of the term but are curious about what they are, um, why people do them, then this video is going to be for you. And we are going to be doing a little mini practice capsule wardrobe over the next 10 days. So I'm going to show you what that looks like and why I'm doing it. I became really interested in a capsule wardrobe last fall when I did the Freedom Challenge. And I'm going to link to that video below if you're interested in it. But for a whole month, I did no excess spending on just unnecessary items. And for me, it was a way to rid my obsession with spending and shopping and just just focusing on clothes and outfits, it just became too much for me in that season. I began to kind of dig into capsule wardrobing and what that is and what that looks like and I stumbled upon Caroline Joy's Instagram and she is the writer over at a blog called Unfancy. She really is known for her transition to starting a capsule wardrobe several years ago. So as I dug into it more, I was really fascinated with the idea. So for her, a capsule wardrobe consists of 37 pieces she has as a staple in her closet, and that includes pants, shorts, shirts, tops, uh, jackets, a sweater, dress, skirts, shoes. What it does not include is workout gear, um, pajamas, swimwear, accessories like scarves and hats and jewelry. All those things can kind of freely come and go as they want. Her choosing 37 items for three months that she just has in her closet. And I thought that was really inspiring because what a capsule wardrobe does, it saves you time, it saves you money, it saves you mental um, just focus. What she also has done over the last year or two is a 10 by 10 challenge. And so that's for people like me, maybe people like you that are interested in the idea of a capsule wardrobe but are a little nervous to jump all the way in. I feel like this is a really good way to kind of dip your toes into the water of capsule wardrobing and to see if you like it and if it's something for you. So I kind of have toyed with this idea for a while and I finally decided this is a great opportunity to start. She's starting one this coming Friday and I'm gonna actually start today Tuesday on my capsule wardrobe because that just lines up better with the next 10 days for me personally before we go on a trip. So today I thought I would show you kind of what I decided to choose. What are the 10 items of clothing and two pairs of shoes that I'm choosing to wear over the next 10 days and I wanted to show you a few different outfits that you could possibly pair together. So as you're going to see here, my 10 pieces are going to be super basic. I am not one to kind of wear anything wild or a lot of color and because this is my first time, I wanted to start really basic. Um, it is winter here in California. It is in the mid 60s to 70 range over the next 10 days so I'm picking things that are going to go with the weather in my area. So for me personally, I'm gonna choose two pairs of pants. I'm going to choose my black Madewell pants that are cropped at the bottom. These are a definite staple and go-to in my wardrobe lately. I'm loving them. So this is gonna be my first pair of pants. And my first top will be this chambray light denim shirt that I recently just bought from Abercrombie & Fitch. I like that it is a neutral. I like that it will go with both my black pants as well as a regular pair of jeans that I decided upon. For my second top, I just chose just a plain black tee from Cotton On, but I just think it's comfy and sometimes I'll like to tie it in a little knot here on the side or in the middle um, to just kind of bring back my waistline, tuck it into the top of my pants to kind of give it that messier look. The third tee I'm choosing is this band tee from the Ramones. This is a Free People t-shirt. I love this. I just think it is so comfortable. Definitely am enjoying this. Okay, the last top I'm bringing in is this white ruffled long sleeve top. Because it is chillier here, I feel like this is a good go-to for the day-to-day. And again, you can tuck it in, tuck it out. It is comfortable, I think it is cute. So that's the fourth and last top. Okay, my sixth item to show you guys are these jeans. These jeans are one of my favorite staples by Abercrombie and & Fitch. And I know what you're thinking, I cannot believe Ashlyn wears Abercrombie & Fitch, but I just have to say these pants are so comfortable. They make the best jeans, you guys, and they're always having like incredible sales for super cheap. So go check out Abercrombie for some pants. It's crazy. It's kind of my go-to style these days. I love just cropped jeans. Since I am shorter, I feel like they're flattering on my legs. Um, they have a little bit of holes in them. I liked the crop bottom, kind of a rough cut bottom. Okay, so I chose two coats back here. Um, it's 
very chilly in the morning, sometimes during the day, and definitely in the evening. So this is my favorite sweater that I found at Nordstrom Rack this last November. I love it. And I like that it is gray, it is neutral, it really goes with everything. Um, it's just a good cozy sweater. So this is one of two outer layers that I chose. Just like the length, I think it's cute. It can be casual, it can be dressy. Okay, and I love this kind of like faux fur um, plush cozy jacket. It is kind of has a bomber style. I actually found this at Marshall's, gosh, last month. I think it was like on clearance for $16.99, but I just like the way it fits. Um, again, this is very versatile. It can be dressed up, it can be dressed down, it can be just good for just school drop-offs or if I'm going out on a date night, which let's hope that happens in the next 10 days. Um, I like the color, it goes with all of the shirts that I chose. Okay, next are shoes. So I picked two pair of shoes, this will complete my 10. Oh, the style I'm going for for the next 10 days is definitely very practical. Um, just comfortable, cozy, and I like to wear tennis shoes a lot, so I'm going to be including my pink suede tennies that have these satin pink ribbons. Adds a little bit of girly flair. They have a little bit of platform, so they're a little bit nice, but I can also just very practical, just again, wear them day to day with the kids. So, so I'm choosing these, Sasina, so and I actually got these at Nordstrom Rack over Christmas. And then for my second and last pair of shoes are these slide on loafers. These have been a season staple for me. They are well loved. They have a little suede on the top. Um, they're pointy, which give a little bit of elegance to them. I, I just like these. I decided not to go with the heel because practicality wise for the next 10 days, I probably won't need to wear any heels. So I just chose a good pair of flats to dress things up in my tennies. So what's also great about the next 10 days is accessorizing. So this is just another way to kind of um, change my outfits up without doing a huge dramatic touch. A little scarf on, I might wear a hat. This is, um, just like a wide brim hat from Brixton. I this with the sweater for a little date night or a mom's night out outfit. Who knows what will come in the next 10 days, but accessories can be key to uh, making your capsule wardrobe probably feel interesting is what my guess is. We'll see. If you are going to join me in trying your 10 by 10 for the next 10 days capsule wardrobe, leave a comment below. I'll leave all the resources if you're interested in looking into a capsule wardrobe, but we can do this. I'm excited. Have a good day. Bye everyone.